Hello my friends, how are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to open source rock and roll, rap and hip and hop and tech and pop because an open source model is out there that is called Ace. I want to talk today about the amazing abilities it has and the functions, the limitations and what you need to actually run it. Let's get started. So here we have it right from the source. As you can see, an open source music generation model called Ace Step and it has 3.5 billion parameters open weight model Apache 2.0 license supports lyric generation pretty cool and it can generate four minutes of song in 20 seconds on an A100 now you probably don't own an A100 but don't forget that you can of course use an open source model with a rented GPU online so you can get an A100 if you want to and still run this and let's play the demo track we get here and it also shows some information so have a listen to this it's not just a dream it's the start of a way building the future where music will play a model that listens a model that grows a step is the rhythm the new world knows if you think that sounds a little bit robotic and a little bit muddy you might be right because i'm thinking the same thing but at this point i want to tell you this is supposed to be a foundation model that's a very important distinction because if you think about when for example stable diffusion 1.5 came out or stxl came out or flux came out all of that wasn't good because these are foundation models they're not supposed to be good they're supposed to be broad so that you can find you in them and when we go a little bit back here you can see from the information it says easy to fine tune or extend with LoRa's and control nets and that's actually a very important part that this is easy to train so when the community comes together creates amazing open source versions of this model that is fine-tuned to all kinds of amazing styles or creating style LoRa's this can be really really amazing and the cool thing also is if you want to try it right away here you have a link where you can do that you can try it for free put your prompt for the music you can put your lyrics in here you can run it you can set up here the length you want to have up to four minutes and then generate a track from that I have done that also here to test it out a little bit there's also a page where you can check out the different songs they have generated with that model so let's do that right now and before we do I want to remind you that this is a foundation model that still needs to be fine-tuned by the community so here we have funk pop soul melodic with these lyrics let's have a listen <laughs> As you can see, it's interesting, but it kind of feels like the voice is glued to the music. It's kind of sticking on there and the singing feels a little bit too slow for the music and not independent enough. But like I said, it's a foundation model. It's an interesting start, but a little bit too AI-ish. Let's go for the next one here. Background music for parties, radio broadcasts, streaming platforms, female voice. I don't care about the view. Cause I exist for me and you I live my whole life in this planter I can't find my car so just call me the horny gardener Mayflies land on me and tell me they just moved to town Okay, that lyric was pretty unexpected. I didn't know that that's in there, but well, there we go. 
Um, not bad from the voice, kind of like it, but it sounds like a very low compression old recording. So again, fine tuning is the key here, but it's a good start, it's a good start. Let's have a look at the next one, it's Surf Music. Calling loud wave, there's a dancing golden sand under a cotton cloud. Electric heartbeat pounding fast, the tide is on our side. Catch a wave and feel alive, we'll take it for a ride. Interesting. I would think that's it sounds really like more like trucker music. Is that surf music? I'm not quite sure. Um it's again, it's nice. It just needs like more of the fine tune but ah, it's a good start it's really it's okay very nice there we have dubstep let's see what that is Alright, interesting. That sounded like a mix between dubstep and Rammstein, I would say. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Does anybody know what Nurgle is? Oh, wait a second. Is that a guy from Warhammer? Nur no, he's Nurgle with, with a U, not with a E. So Nurgle, I don't know what that means. Uh, maybe you know, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, let's go on to some more information about that AI model. There is a GitHub page where you can find the model and the information and how to install that and something pretty amazing just freshly came out. Let's scroll down here. There it is. You have now ConfUI a step support with the notes available so you can download it. You can run it. You don't have to have an A100 by the way. You can also go with older graphics cards or like other graphics card let's phrase it like that you can also do it on a mac and they show you some numbers for that but you still need a lot of vram to actually run that so when we scroll down here i will go over the features in a second here you have the devices you can see here 4090 a100 3090 and an m2 max and this already tells you that this uses a lot of VRAM. I hope we see compressed models that use less VRAM so we can use that. And actually, it's really useful then for the community because who actually has a 4090 or 5090 or stuff like that? Even I only have a 4080, which has only 16 gigabytes of RAM. But you can see here some render times. One minute in a 4090 is 1.74 seconds. And with an A100, 2.2 seconds. And with a 3090, 4.7 seconds, which is still pretty cool for one minute. Now, interestingly enough, with an M2 Max, you get 26.43 seconds. But of course, that is because most of what is happening with the eyes optimized for NVIDIA, especially if you have an RTX card that will highly improve your ability to render things. But let's look at the different features and functions we have here because that's a very important part of this. So here we have the baseline quality. It supports all mainstream music styles with various description formats, including short text, descriptive text, or use case scenarios, which is pretty amazing. 19 languages with top 10 well-performing languages, including English, Chinese, Russian, Spanish, Japanese, German, French, Portuguese, Italian, and Korean. So a lot of the most popular music is covered. And then for less common languages, it might underperform at the moment, but as it says, you can train LoRa's or even fine tune the model to include more languages, but it has some other really amazing functions. For example, of course, instrumental styles, lots of different instruments supported and vocal techniques also 
controllability, that is where it really becomes interesting. So for me, what stood out here is repainting, which implements by adding noise to target audio input and applying mask constraints during the ODE process. When input conditions change from the original generation, only specific aspects can be modified while preserving the rest. This is pretty amazing to have this ability to actually only change parts of the song, not the complete song. That is really, really good. You also have lyrical editing in here, and this will enable you to do localized lyric modifications while preserving melody, vocals, and accompaniment. I hope I pronounced it correct. I've never heard that word, to be honest. The important part here is that you can actually change parts of the lyrics and preserve the rest, which is pretty good because sometimes it just performs in the wrong way. It says the word in the wrong way, and then you can just exchange that. That is pretty good. Other functions I really like that are not out yet, I say here coming soon, is Rap Machine. And that is pretty good. I hope it works as they promise, because it says the rap has exceptional storytelling, expressive capabilities, offering extraordinary application potential. And this is one of the things where I feel like AI right now still is, has a big downside is it can create interesting lyrics and they rhyme really well usually, but the lyrical gymnastics of it actually combining words in a fun or interesting way or writing lyrics that speak through the flower basically that you have to read between the lines to understand what's going on or facilitate or using slang in there in the right way. Most AIs can't do that. Even ChatGPT, even Gemini can't really do that. They are very direct, very obvious, very clear, and um, not very funny or deep. So maybe this can do it. Another thing I really like here is Stem Gen. This takes a reference tag and specified instruments or instrument reference audio as an input and outputs an instrument stem that complements the reference track. So. What this does is not an extraction like stem extraction. A stem means you have split up the, the musical track into the individual instruments and each of these instruments is called a stem. Now this does not extract instruments. Instead, what it does is you give it a song and say, I want to have a guitar with that. And so it is creating based on the track you provide a stem. So a new audio track with just the guitar on that. So you can then add that to the song afterwards or even like just parts of it. So that is really, really useful. And they also have the other way around singing to accompaniment. And this does that you have a vocal track and then it will arrange a complete music track around that with all of the instruments in there. That's also a really great idea, especially if you're a singer, if you already have the musical performance or remix old music or famous music in new styles with the original vocal track. So there's a lot of different applications for that. Let me know in the comments what you think about this open source model and its potential in the future. I think it might be huge. So let's see where all of this goes. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Yes, canned off the gray. Or the white if you nasty. Came back from death while you just got flashy. I face ball rocks. You babysit teens. I save Middle Earth. You play politics and jeans. Dumbledore, your beard game's weak. Got a Phoenix, sure. I ride eagles deep. You're a headmaster. Sitting.